Hey there, I'm Hal Price. Have you bought every ship accessory money can buy just so you can sit in your cockpit and not see a thing? It don't even show up on this tiny ship thing here. Speaking of displays, it's flying over 100 miles with this heads up display giving you the orange eye. Like I always say, money can't buy a satisfaction, but my ex-wife's a whore. So why not treat yourself to Hal Price's personalized HUD detailing where you're guaranteed to see results. Best part of it, that's free. Here to tell you how is our resident space nerd, Spanky. Thanks, Hal. Actually, it's Sparks. My name is Sparks. Whatever you say, Sparkles. Okay. To change your HUD colors, we will just need to add commands to the graphics override config. Start on your computer, then select users, your username, go to app data, local. Hold on. What's the local dating app got to do with this? App data. Not a dating app. How? No. Anyway, now go to local frontier elite options. Good Lord. Is there an option for forget our ass? Options. Then graphics. And open the graphics override with notepad. Don't just go clicking on it willy nilly. The first time it'll look like this. There's no commands to change the colors. To do that, we'll need it to look like this. Copy and paste this in from the video's description. What in the name of Braben is that, Mrs. Spatula? The Matrix? No, no, Hal. This is the part where we can edit the colors. Also, you've known me for 18 years. The name is Sparks. If you ask me, this should be in the game settings. Use one of these panels for crying out loud. At this rate, how are the good folks going to tell what anything even looks like? Hal. Just let me finish. At this point, you can see what the colors might look like by going to sites like Arcu. This site. This is the site where you can see the adjustments in real time. Copy the config settings and just paste them in like this. That's it. It's great and all, but to be honest, unless it comes with a side of fries, I don't care much for sliders. Give me something that looks great already, Spackle! In that case here, there was an initiative back in 2016 to make a definitive list of the best HUD color configs called NO20, No to Orange. It showcases not just the cockpit colors, but also the menus. In addition, it provides detailed descriptions and the configs themselves for you to copy and paste. I provided a link to this forum thread in the video's description. There's also Dr. Kai's ED Profiler. It is a lifesaver. It's a graphics things profile that does all this stuff for you. You don't have to actually open the config file, you can just use a UI. I highly recommend giving this a go. That's why we've included a link in the description. Now tell me, should I probably copy and save the original config file somewhere safe in case I make a mess of things? Yes! Actually, that's a very prudent thing to do, Hal. I recommend you back up this file and make sure your colors won't conflict. For example, if you can't tell the difference between anyone on your radar because you chose crappy colors, you're gonna have a bad time. Well, thank you very much for pouring us the tears there, Smileworks. If y'all made it this far into the video, congratulations. You just learned yourself how to personalize your heads up display. Hey, Spider-Man, what should the good people say when they're asked, how did you get that hood? spider -Man? My, my name is Sparks, you know who I am! Don't be shy, go on, tell him. Don't ask how. Ask, ask how. how. You, you do realize we sound like we're saying ask how, right? Ask how. Slash elite, slash HUD editor, slash hashtag theme dash two, oh, point two five, two, two, one, two, two, oh, dash two, Hope you remember the other parts.